Hello and welcome to another Motion Industries how-to video. My name is Tom Clark, I'm your host, and in today's how-to, we're going to discuss proper bearing handling and storage. Now, SKF knows a thing or two about bearings since they've been manufacturing quality bearings since 1907. That's a long time. Now, once the bearings are produced and out of SKF hands, do you know how to handle and store them to ensure they meet their design shelf life? Well, today, we're gonna to talk about proper handling and storage of SKF bearings. Now, bearings are supplied as precision machine components, and they should be respected and treated as such during transport, handling, storage, and of course, installation. Now, to get the most service out of your bearing, it's important to reduce the chances of damage even before it's installed in your equipment. Best practices in shipping and picking orders are in place at both Motion Industries and SKF warehouses. Standard packaging is intended to protect the bearing during normal transport and handling activities. You know, sometimes accidents can happen in transport and if the external packaging is significantly damaged, return the bearing for replacement by calling Motion or SKF customer service. Now, SKF defines non-acceptable box conditions as including, but not limited to, conditions where the box has open tabs, which you can see this one looks really good. Is dented, torn, or broken? I don't see anything like that on this box. Has been written upon, looks clean. The product label is unreadable. I can read everything right there. Is dirty, faded, or oily? Looks good. Maybe missing support straps on some of the bigger bearings. The number or barcode is illegible. I can see everything right there. And in general, is not in like new condition. Well, we're not taking this one back because this one looks real good, as does this one right here. So. Now let's move on to storage. The area also needs to be cool with a steady temperature and controlled humidity, such as 75% at 68 degrees, 60% at 72 degrees, and 50% at 77 degrees. The area should be a vibration-free and draft-free stocking area, similar to the one that we see here. You should store the bearings flat on the racks with adjustable shelves and employ the first in, first out organizing. Consumer education is an important part of purchasing. Understanding best practices when it comes to handling and storing bearings ensures your investment in SKF products. Now that's one reason they are known as the knowledge engineering company. We hope that this will help you with your practical application. And always remember to wear your proper personal protection equipment when taking this to the job. Right now, I've got my glasses out. I didn't need them for today, but you know when you're installing bearings or maybe just walking through the warehouse, picking up a bearing off the shelf, you're going to make sure that you wear that proper PPE. Hey, also don't forget to look for other Motion Industries how-to videos with me, Tom Clark, as your host. Thanks for watching.